Ooh. Howdy folks, JP here. It's February 26, 2021. Wow, time sure flies, doesn't it? We're here for another bee season, coming right at you. Um, this is a little greenhouse behind me, and for some reason they put this ramp here. We're not sure why. I've been told I can do whatever I want with the ramp because it's got a little rot to it and it's going to be removed and demolished and thrown away anyway. So my plan is I'm going to cut maybe half of it and I'm going to try to use this table. I'm going to try to pick it up, invert it, and lay it on the table. That way I can uh, sit in my chair and uh, you know make it easy on myself. So uh, we're going to get these bees out of here and into our high box. i got a deep. I have some uh, three frames of drawn comb and some uh, waxed plastic cell. I uh, removed some foundation to make room for some comb. Hopefully there's uh, you know, a good bit of usable comb. If there is, then I'll uh, remove some more of the foundation and uh, use more of the frames. Anyway, we're about to get into it. I hope you enjoy the video. It's got a little weight to it, okay? So, uh, whew. I think they got some honey in there and it's gonna be a pretty good sized colony. Well, let me see what we can do to pick it up and burn it. Hopefully, this goes smoothly. <laughs> just kind of getting going kind of coming out of winter and uh, spring is just about upon us their numbers are down somewhat is what happens during the winter that they eat a lot of their honey stores so there's not any new honey of course so they're surviving on what's left them looks like a whole bunch of comb and not too many bees but they're all bees rest assured in between the comb sections as the uh, process unfolds you'll be able to see more of that so Throughout this colony, there's a little bit of rot. Some of the comb sections have some mildew on them, and so we won't use some of that stuff. You'll see a little bit later on, further back to the far side of where I'm working, some of those comb sections, the bees cross combed, and there's also a decent little bit of beetles on some of those comb sections. We will wind up not using some of the stuff on the far side. All in all, we'll still be able to use a decent bit of the comb to frame up and to add to the hog box. So here's a little tip for you. As you can see, I'm heating up my hive tool. That allows me to detach that old comb from the wood surfaces. That old stubborn comb, heat up your hive tool and the heat from your hive tool will warm up the combs right where you're trying to detach them. It makes the job a lot easier. It'll uh, detach the combs as well as uh, old propolis. It's really important this time of the year, if the hives have any honey stores, when you're transferring any comb sections, it's really good to give them some of that honey. 
because uh, you know the, the flowers hadn't started blooming yet and if you don't give them some of that comb with the honey then you're gonna have to feed them fondant or uh, something like that uh, another little tip if you you have the freezer space and you pulled some frames of honey to harvest say before winter or anytime and you didn't find the honey that agreeable sometimes it happens go ahead and uh, place some of those frames in your freezer and uh, when you run across bees swarm or your own hives and they need honey you can pull those frames out you know, about a day in advance maybe not quite a day and uh, let them get room temperature and then put them in the hive and feed them back to the bees. So anyway, uh, it's crucial, you know, this time of the year that the, the bees are trying to build up, you know, the weather's warming, and so they're, they're starting to move around a bit and they need more calories. And once they don't have any feed, they're they are on the brink of sometimes starving. But uh, if they can make it through, they usually they can get something to survive. But you will undoubtedly have some hives that wind up starving for lack of feed, especially when uh, the winter's been uh, a little harsher than normal this year. Uh, our winter was a little bit more harsh. We had a late front. That late front uh, that hit everybody, you know, a few weeks back. Anyway, give them honey if they have it. You see, we've started uh, getting to the interior of the colony, and the numbers are uh, starting to show themselves now. A decent little bit of bees uh, covering these comb sections. Uh, these are nice and gentle and uh, the queen is laying so uh, they're in pretty good shape to uh, face spring of course uh, they couldn't do so where they were so we had to remove them and bring them to a better place so they can do their thing and not be a hindrance to anyone who is not used to being around bees don't want to cut any of these gals but they just won't move out of the way so <laughs> forced to use the hive tool to move some of them move girls of course the whole idea here is to force the bees to accept the hive box and so we shake bees we move comb sections and slowly but surely the bees will start accepting the hive box slowly but surely we're removing where the hive was and all those comb sections. It's making sense out of things for us, not necessarily making a lot of sense for them at first. They're a little confused, but you know, for the most part, while I'm working, the bees, are, they're working too. They're, it's like they're just oblivious for the most part. You know, they're doing their thing while I'm doing my thing. In some way, we kind of meet in the middle.
showed up. And we've been talking about the bees and he's been watching the process. His grandfather kept bees years ago. And he assisted his grandfather a couple of times. It was your grandfather, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, where was that? That was in Germany. Germany? Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. I keep hearing about these little small German black bees that are, that'll that light you up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did y'all have those over there? Uh, not to my re uh, recollection. <laughs> Good. No. Watch that ampoule right there. Yeah, it is active. Oh, wow. And that was a good song. Well, so what do you think of this? Hmm? What do you think of this? This is really neat stuff. Honestly, I think if I weren't studying to become an engineer, I'd want to be a beekeeper. <laughs> there you go. What, uh, mechanical or? Uh, naval architecture. Naval architecture, okay. Well, good luck with that, man. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks for letting me take a look yeah, at Yeah, not this. a problem, not a problem. Glad you can stop by. Yeah. This is Olivia. Hello. Our friends with the bees. Yeah, she came <laughs> by and, uh, we pretty much have everything wrapped up, but she had some questions about the bees, wanted to make sure that we're going to go to a good home where they can, you know, make honey and, and do what bees do. They are cool bees. I always, I come look at them and I would say, like, I'm your friend, don't worry. Never when did y'all first them. notice these? Half a year ago. A year ago? I just didn't want to snitch because I didn't want to be killed. <laughs> yeah. Well, good to meet you, Olivia. Good to meet Take you, Take care too. now. Bye-bye. We got a march going. This group of bees. Good break cluster. Follow these guys' leads, these gals' leads, rather. We're gonna go ahead and get our lid on, and then uh, we'll go ahead and move the box back to you know, where the entrance was. Alright folks, well I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, pretty easy peasy, you know. Very enjoyable removal, very gentle bees. Uh, I didn't, I don't believe I even saw a cap cell in here. So a uh, cap root cell. They had a little bit of honey, but uh, we got the queen kind of early and uh, she, uh, she's not that plump. Typical Italian looking queen. But uh, you know, happy bees, a decent little bit of them. They should do fine now. Okay, uh, this ramp like I said, it, uh, I was told it really didn't, doesn't belong here, so they were going to probably get rid of it anyway, but they could do that with the bees in it. They, they're about to do some cleanup with some trees and stuff, and I mean, you could have done whatever you wanted around these bees, but, you know, people who don't aren't around bees and understand bees, they don't they don't know that, so they had to be removed. So I hope you all enjoyed another one from JP to Bee Man. Hope you're having a great day, because you know I am. Ready to go bye bye. Got one on the front of the box. Got two of them, but they, for the most part, they in. Just about time to put them on a truck and go bye bye with them. Folks, it's the following day. And uh, I'm going to release the queen. Ordinarily, I would cage, keep her cage for like two, three days. And that's usually during, you know, the busy season, you know, when the temps are up and everything's rocking and rolling. Our temps are, in fact, up. But, um, you know, these bees are just coming out of winter. So, um, I don't even know if I saw a capped, you know, brood cell of any type. Uh, they had a little bit of honey, but uh, and the queen heads started laying. So we're going to go ahead and uh, release her. I don't think there's uh, that big of a chance of her wanting to leave because they're just getting going again. But if this was like, uh, you know, uh, April, May, June, July, any of the warmer months, I'd probably keep her caged for a little longer period. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and release her so she can you know, get back uh, to, to land and, and so they can uh, continue with their uh, spring buildup. So, here we go. As you can see, you know, they actually had a pretty decent bit of bees in that colony, folks. I don't know how well we get in this, but, uh, you know, they're covering, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, they're covering six rings. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm doing this one-handed right now, so. I just want to get in and out quick, so I'm just doing it with the iPhone. Just put this aside. All right, she is going to be on this one. 
Good measure. Yeah, so let's go ahead and pull this up and then we'll go ahead and release her. Got a decent little bit of bees there. See? All right, let's get the grip off the frame. Let's put the frame back in. We are about to get some rain, but uh, you know, these bees, I gave them a little bit of smoke. The smoke really doesn't have much fuel in it. Look at them, how they converge in on her. <laughs> Those are some cocoons. Bees develop via complete metamorphosis. The larvae actually spins a cocoon. When the bees hatch out, they remain in the cells. These cocoons were pushed out because I had cut some of the comb sections, exposing some of the cocoons. Ordinarily, they would just build up in the cells. Just trying to get to that's what that is. Those are cocoons. All right, let's go ahead and oh, let's buy bees on there. Shake some off. See if we can get it to run in. Bees will continue to cover this, this thing if I left it out because they can still smell per se. Yeah. Remember, bees have been really unusually sensitive uh, sense of smell. They have a really uncanny sense of smell. So, see, they, they, they still smell her in there. Okay? The pheromones that she puts up, they can still smell that, believe it or not. So. <laughs> All right, we're going to walk away right now and uh, let them do their thing. All right, folks. We are going to do an inspection with the GoPro, okay? And these are the ramped up bees. This will be the uh, day 15, okay? Sorry about the little shakiness. I got one of those uh, GoPro uh, harnesses on. Let's see, let me just get situated, folks. Bear with me a second. All right, let me pop the top. I feel like I'm falling away. I'm gonna push it a little closer to me and get this. All right, so. A lot of y'all wanted to see me film with the GoPro, so I got this new GoPro, I think it's a 7, from Yappy. We made a little trade. I traded him a Canon for this GoPro. We made a, a trade that was uh, mutually beneficial to both of us. Put the frame. going to come in here and do a little inspection show you a few things so, so you can see uh, lots of cat brew there let's see where they've attached comb at the top there's some fresh honey coming in maybe some clover could be some blackberry I don't know if you're getting that but you can see that fresh nectar in there let's flip this around More of the same. Alright, let's go ahead and put this back. And uh, go on to the next frame. Maybe we can uh, show you the queen. Alright, let's sit here. Let's go ahead and pull this frame. Well, she's going to wind up being on one of these. Alright attached this comb section all the way across okay all the way across there some nectar see some royal jelly in the bottom of some of these cells okay let's flip it around let's see what we got here Lots of laying going on. Uh, 
not much cat brood. But uh, lots of eggs and uh, developing larvae at different stages. Let's go on to this next one. Kind of getting into the interior of the colony now. Let's pull this next one out. This is a good one. Like, you know, interior of the hive is always going to be full of bees. Wow. Really propolize that. Let's detach that end. All right. Let's come on up. She could be on this side or the other, I'm thinking. Okay. Cat brood, uncat brood. Uh, a bit of honey. Not, not too, too much going on in there. Let's bring this around. I think she's done everything she could on this one, so she's not going to be on this one. Again, they've attached the comb section all the way across. You know, we, we're still uh, coming out of winter, folks. So you can't expect a lot of build up in 15 days when we've had fronts. It's just starting to warm up now, really. Just starting to warm up. All right, let's go ahead and put this back. Okay, maybe we'll see you on this one. Let's break that propolis seal. Feelings are going to be on this one. Go to the next one. <laughs> Let this be out of my shirt. Let's see. No, you're going the wrong way, girl. Come this way. No, 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 no. Come this way. <laughs> oh, she's by my elbow now. I'll get her out in a minute. More of the same, just a bunch of cat brood. I'm seeing some shiny cells uh, indicating some uh, nectar. So they all, you know, they all bringing in some feed, which is good. I don't feed them as much. Yeah, I, don't, I do not see her over here. But the, see all that cat brood there? Alright, and look in here. A bunch of new stuff. Hopefully we're getting that with, with the GoPro. But there are uh, eggs, larvae, a little bit of everything there. Alright, let's put this down go on to the next one. Alright, see if we can find her. Next and last one, really. Uh, this is the one next to it. There's some old drawn comb, which, uh, wow, this one's heavy. Okay. This one's, this one's got a lot of honey on it. Let's uh, kill this beetle. Big old beetle. There she is. See her up top? Now this bee is at my armpit. Oh, Lord. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Did she get to nothing? No, there she is. See her? beauty all right so they really haven't done a whole bunch in uh, 15 days folks but uh, I guess survive and that's what they're trying to do and I mean they're doing a good job of it we'll let them get back to business not a lot of progress in 15 days I mean they didn't move backwards but uh, they didn't move forward all that much either they just thought to bring in some nectar like I said and uh, with that you know they can feed themselves probably in the next couple of weeks they'll go ahead and start building maybe really build it you know adding on but uh just not not quite yet not quite yet but we are, we're getting there folks we get there so we're just going to go back in put our frames back and uh put the lid on but you know not not a lot to report but they're they're healthy and they're bringing in nectar so uh as it warms and flowers continue to produce more and more nectar they should build more comb and so they can expand their hive and really get down to business and like I said it's just still too a little too early yet but you know they're, they're definitely coming out of winter you know spring is here folks I don't think we're going to get any more fronts you know but just a couple of nights ago you know it was in the low 50s here you know make some generate heat make some cluster that, that, that affects the bees here anyway that's it for this one hope y'all enjoyed it another one from JP the Beanie Man and I hope y'all having a fantastic day out there because you know I am toodaloo